right. Do we have the moon yet? Uh, so, James, uh, I just sent you the link in a private chat since the Hangout invite didn't seem to go through. He's set up and ready. Um, so if you can open up your uh, Hangouts bar on the side, the little green quotes button, uh, I just sent you a private chat of the link that'll get you into the Hangout. Um, so if you're not seeing the invitation uh, itself, try that. OK. That's and where we're I'm going to exit this. While we listen to the thunder outside. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting my glasses. Do you have flux on? Is that why your screen's red? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should turn that off. Oh, it's fine. I it just, it's funny. Um, so, yeah. So, we are hopefully getting the moon soon. Uh, so, James McGee, if you're, if you're still there, um, I have sent you the link to uh, join the hangout with the moon. Um, oh, funnel cakes would make great galaxies. Yes. Thank you, Steve. Yes. Steve makes amazing, amazing stuff. Um, Steve the group. I think the uh, the um, the unicorn that actually the the cannon, the unicorn cannon that actually farts rainbows, is probably the favorite thing of, that he ever made. So. <laughs> <laughs> Completely non astronomical, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Citizen Gold's asking if the Hangoutathon is running for 24 hours. Actually, we're running for 32, 32. hours. Uh, we have more guests than hours for the original plan, so we will be at it till 7 p.m. Central. Seven, yeah, 7 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Uh, sorry, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific tomorrow. Uh, so Julie is watching or doing this with two computers, each with a large screen. She's wondering, how many computers do we have working this Hangout? Oh, God. We have uh, the one that's in front of me that is actually streaming us, uh, for the most part, doing um, that is doing the production and the audio and the video. We are screen sharing lots of things from Pamela's computer over there. So that's the other one you've seen in the Hangout. Which is on a different network so that we don't fork anything. Uh, I have my laptop next to me, which I'm helping. Helping, helping me with comments and internal messages with our production team. Um, there are very, you know, we've been wearing glass for most of it that yeah. count as devices. And I guess you've had computers downstairs that have been broadcasting the band and the cooking segment. Yes. So at least four computers uh, just to try and keep up with all of this, plus several other mobile devices. You've had your iPad. Yeah. Out. <laughs> um, we're we're kind of swimming in technology of all ages and stripes. My uh, my laptops. Hanging in there. Yeah, uh, I think we have old. three generations uh, of three different types of Macs, actually. Because yeah. when we're uh, transmitting from downstairs, we're using my fairly brand new MacBook Air. This is one of the old iMacs over here in the corner. Um, yours is one of the older MacBooks. Yeah. And then the computer in front of you is two generations old MacBook Pro. Um, so, yeah, uh, all the computers. We keep our machines running as long as we can. That's how it yeah. goes. Yeah, so that computer you're using was bought back oh. in 2009. And Michael first, Forster is using four computers for the, uh, I, I guess that's transferring it to Astronomy FM as well as doing the green room and doing a whole bunch of stuff. Richard Drums got... I'm sure at least two computers yeah, <laughs> on yeah. this. Tim's laptop, uh, which is one of the few in this house that isn't a Mac. <laughs> um, it's the has only been running... one in the house, not a Mac, until Joe and Corey well, Joe, get here. Joe's here. <laughs> okay, Joe's here. Joe, Joe? I don't know. He wandered in and then wandered away. Okay. <laughs> like he does. Um, so, yeah, As Joe's do. Tim's laptop was running the green room for a while. We've just grabbed every piece of technology with insight. Um, so <laughs> that's helping us make this show possible. Yes. Um, so I'm not hearing back from James with uh, the moon. I can try and send the invite one more time. So hang on while I type. It will mute me. Submit. Okay, I've sent the invite again. So it should show up in your Google Plus notifications, and you should also have a Hangout chat from me, not from CosmoQuest, but from my profile um, with the link as well. So if we can get the moon in here, that'd be cool. Otherwise, we have lightning and thunder. <laughs> right. So uh, to give you a lowdown on um, 
Oh, we had a time zone fail earlier, I think. Mm. Because uh, Richard's saying Emily Lackawalla oh, so is Emily's available. Oh, so Emily's going to join us for um, the, the Dr. Yes. Kiki. Jennifer, Jennifer Willette, unfortunately, uh, came down with some kind of bug, and so she's sick. Oh, no. Uh, so we will have Kevin Grazier and uh, and Emily Lakdawalla and Kiki Sanford on the next segment. So we're, awesome. We're, things are changing. But, yeah, Emily uh, missed, missed, the, missed the, the window earlier. We've had, like I said, we've had a couple of uh, time zone and date fails uh, in As our... much us as anything else. It's, it's oh, yeah. Oh, an definitely. amazing... <laughs> We don't get paid to write grants or fundraise, so we've had to do our day jobs all week. Mm -hmm. And and so Nicole's been going crazy working on professional development. All next week we're running teacher training workshops. There's two of them going on. So Nicole's going to be at Whiteside's uh, Middle School. Yes, Whiteside Middle School, um, where we have five teachers that are doing the workshop with us. So I was telling everybody about that before. And I'm going to be in East St. Louis yep. um, doing teacher professional development there for high school teachers. And um, so we were both working on that uh, last week. And uh, so it's it's been a crazy week of preparing this, doing our normal jobs. Um, you were in New York getting glass. Monday and flew home Tuesday. I flew Thursday to LA to get glass. Thank you so much to Google for helping us be able to get these in time for this this event. Yes. You've been seeing us uh, checking Twitter. Uh, I just got a New York Times update. Um, uh, Amy Shira Titel says, hey Night Owls, at Noisy Astronomer and at Star Strider are live and spreading the science on CosmoQuest Hangouts. So we're getting um, the at tweets from people that we follow are going to at least my glass. Uh, it just told me it's Elise Anders' birthday, and it's 80 degrees outside, so the temperatures are finally dropping. Hopefully, we'll it's stop warmer. dying in here. Yeah, actually, while you were reading, I was standing in front of the air conditioner just like, because <laughs> <laughs> it's not making its way over here. <laughs> Good times. And I also fixed the, stuff, the stuffed fellows, but I don't think you can see them now where they're standing. So. Oh. Will and Spock are over by the earth down there. Okay. So it's all good. Um, station identification or uh, donation, please. So you're watching the CosmoQuest 32-hour Hangout-a-thon. Um, if you go to CosmoQuest.org, there's a blue bar at the top with links to the schedule, uh, which we've mostly been keeping to. Uh, yes. To the blog post with all the information about why we're doing this is to keep science and science education running despite their funding troubles. Um, and so your donations are going to help keep this program running and all the cool stuff that we've been talking about, uh, putting it out there. And we're currently at $9,000, $9,335. And, you know, I'd love to hit $10,000 before we hit 10 p.m. Um, we have a huge goal. We have a goal of $200,000. That's enough funding for six months. We estimate it will take that long for us to write all of the grants uh, to foundations and to seek all of the corporate sponsors that we're going to need to keep our programs going in the face of NASA budget cuts. Um, we know it's a large amount, but we, we have to try. And we'd ask you, if you believe in us, donate a dollar, donate a thousand dollars. Every bit matters every bit counts it costs us about two hundred dollars in, in resources to do a teacher professional development workshop um, it costs us uh, our students are 1250 an hour um, so you can help us and just share and do science you you help us every time you mark a crater on the moon uh, so there's lots of ways to get involved and um, we appreciate every dollar and dime we get and I will be writing personal thank you emails next week. Uh, Text Expander will be involved, but I will be involved in typing in all the names and adding personal messages when I recognize the names. Um, so thank you for what you've done. And really, we have 28 minutes to try and hit $10,000. I think that would be just cool symmetry, 10 p.m. Central, $10,000 in our donation bucket. Um, and I'm getting beeped at. Oh, still working I... on getting the moon. Um, we've got some hellos in the. Uh, they're singing in the YouTube comments. <laughs> what? Uh, I can't sing, so I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> um, and my buddy Genevieve de Messier. Hi, Genevieve. Uh, is is uh, checking in and saying hello. Um, 
So we're going to see you at ASP. We're going to see you at the Astronomical Society of the Pacific Community in the end of July, where we will be, um, Georgia Bracey and I will be there presenting results of uh, our teacher professional development of the survey that you guys have been taking over at the website. It's currently not popping up, but uh, if you go to cosmoquest.org slash survey, uh, we want to know what motivates you to do citizen science. Um, so that's actually going to help us do some um, research into motivation. So we're going to be presenting those results as well. And just talking about the program in general and uh, where we are with the science coming from the Mappers projects. So anyway, we'll see. We'll see you there, GB. Miss you. <laughs> and while she's doing that traveling, um, I'm going to go to the European Space Week in Finland the first week of July, or I guess it's the second week of July. Uh, then I'm going to go visit my colleagues from the Galileo Teacher Training Program and Galileo Han and uh, Global Hands-On Universe at Nucleo. That's Rosa Doran and her team. And then I'm going to be going to the uh, Global Hands-On Universe meeting in Greece. And um, they are kind enough to be paying my travel to go. And I'm going to be staying on sofas and crashing in other people's hotel rooms to make this possible. So we really do stretch every dollar every possible way. I don't know how many times we've been traveling and crammed four people into a hotel room in the name of science. Yeah, we've, we've bunked up a few times. Yeah. You had to deal with my snoring. You had to deal with Jim snoring. <laughs> I've had to deal with your, your alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> the road runner. Oh, the random roadrunner in the middle of the night. Somehow you, she got all Looney Tunes sounds on her phone, and that was waking me up in the middle of the conference. I, I somehow, I still don't know how I did this. I managed to set only one of my email accounts to make a roadrunner noise and automatically go find my mail every 20 minutes. And so whenever that account, which I hardly ever use, got email, my phone would make a roadrunner noise. It took me months to figure this out. And so I tortured roommates. I tortured Nicole. It was, it was funny. I think that may have been the trip where we also uh, had a few too many Chinese mai tais with Sigler, with Sigler, <laughs> who uh, was a gentleman and walked our stumbling, well, my stumbling butts. <laughs> I was practically carried me home. <laughs> so, so to provide context, I did not know what was in a mai tai. I thought them. I thought that they had like a shot of liquor, maybe like a strawberry daiquiri. I did not know this was a pure drink of rum. I bear all responsibility for what happened that evening, which was mostly just walking through San Francisco being silly. Yeah, lots um, of silly. Yeah, I think the worst. Dragons. Yeah, we bought dragons. That was really the only consequence of this. Was we bought stupidly expensive dragons. I will find a picture of the stupidly expensive dragons. They're downstairs. I'm not walking down, down two downstairs. flights okay, of stairs. <laughs> we have rope dragons that are downstairs. Uh, okay. Um, sorry, I'm getting messages from all our production staff. It's fine. We're good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, we are the next set of guests we have are coming at 10:15. So right now for us it's 9:36. 10:15 is an, is uh, our next guest slot. So we are uh, not too bad. Uh, we're doing okay. Um, we're just waiting possibly on the moon. I know James is having a bit of computer trouble on his end, so sadness. Um, <laughs> uh, we have a question. Will you guys consider accepting donations by bitcoins? Yes. The problem that I've run into... Because apparently PayPal is a pain for international donations. Yeah, no, we'll totally take bitcoins. The last time I tried to set up a bitcoin account, though, um, I had some sort of fail. If you can send me information on how to set up um, something so that I can take donations by Bitcoin, literally email it to starstrider at gmail.com. If you send me the information, I will set it up and I will get it live tonight. We also have a question. Um, so, of course, there, there's a... Uh... What's the relationship between CosmoQuest and Astrosphere New Media? Astrosphere is where recurring payments are going for this for, uh, from Citizen Gold, um, but that's different from the CosmoQuest fund. And so maybe you want to explain the. Uh... <laughs> What's so funny about that? I'm mouthful of oh, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, as as I understand it, so the CosmoQuest fund, the CosmoQuest.org slash donate, that particular PayPal link goes to the Citizen Science Fund. Um, that goes through the foundation at Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. That is the university that hosts us. 
Uh, that's where I'm a postdoc, and she is a faculty. Well, I mm -hmm. guess I'm faculty, too, which is weird. <laughs> I, I'm a research professor. She's I'm a postdoc. Post -doc. But they decided that was faculty, too, so cool. <laughs> um, that's where that money goes that helps us run CosmoQuest, the Citizen Science Project, with all the stuff that you're seeing. Um, Astrosphere New Media is the uh, is the organization that <laughs> oh God, I told you I was going to find the is the organization that runs um, the Astronomy Cast and a lot of the media that Pamela does. I do not work for Astrosphere. Right. Um, so so we have two separate organizations. Uh, universe uh, Southern Uni Southern Illinois University Edwardsville is where all of our science funds go from the National Science Foundation, from NASA, and from individual missions. It's also where all of our research funding for education research goes, which is National Science Foundation funds. Um, the um, Astrosphere New Media is what produces all of the content on our YouTube channel. It is what uh, actually pays all of our server bills. So the reason we have our server bills separate is the CosmoQuest forums. We've run into some problems with people feeling that if it was a NASA funded site they were allowed to say anything they wanted. And NASA moderates its sites, so I'm not sure why they thought this. But I think it was a free speech issue. It and was how a free, that yeah. To government agencies. So, so we had a, a couple of people um, claim that they were going to sue us over freedom of speech when we banned them from the forums for poor behavior and trolling. And rather than deal with any of the legal issues through the university, 100% of the server bills are currently paid for through Astrosphere New Media. Um, and um, so Astrosphere pays for 365, it pays for all of the servers, it pays for the YouTube stuff, and um, Astrosphere New Media also helps to, to raise the whole community up. So when the folks at Astronomers Without Borders want to do a um, series of videos for Global Astronomy Month, Astrosphere produces those. Uh, we are going to be doing a series of videos uh, for astro art program for them moving into the future. So media and um, uh, and Cosmo Academy are both through Astrosphere, formal education and federally funded research is all through the university. So that's that's how it all comes together. Astrosphere is not healthy because our economy isn't healthy, but it's limping along. If you could sponsor some episodes of 365 Days of Astronomy, I'd be thrilled. Um, but what we're really worried about is losing that federal funding, and it's that fear of losing that federal funding, which is why this Hangout-a-thon is working to raise money to go to our citizen science endeavors at SIUE. Um, so that that's how everything fits together, and having just gone through um, I'm going to remind you, you can donate at CosmoQuest.org slash donate. Um, and I'm going to show you some really wait, wait, awesome... Wait, no, 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 we have a moon. 